What we're going to do here is I'm going to go over the uh, current version of Posture Screen Mobile and how you can use this on the iPad. So we're going to go ahead and start up the application. Now currently uh, it's in the iPhone mode um, until we have a native iPad app. So just hit this zoom in right here and you can see you can go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and create a new screening and we're going to go ahead and put in our information in here. Okay, and put in her last name. So this is great if you're doing a spinal screening. You can have your office staff do this for you. And now the email, if you want to email it to yourself, put your email in. But realistically, this is best if you email that to the prospective patient or the current patient. I'm going to go ahead and put my email address in here. And we're going to put the phone number down because if we're doing a spinal screening, we want to capture that information. And if she has pain, we'll rate that on a 0 to 10 scale. Okay. And next, so once we get the patient information in there, we're going to go ahead and move on. So since the current iPad doesn't have a camera, what you're going to do is you're going to use the camera connection kit that you can buy from Apple to download your pictures or sync it to your computer or you just email it to yourself. So I already have some pictures on here, so we're going to go ahead and hit front. We're going to browse to postures, and I have her posture here. And this is where the patent pending technology is right here, is part of it. So we're going to center her, zoom her, and we're going to also come in and we're going to do the lateral view. And we always want to do the right lateral view. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and digitize the posture. So all we do is go over the landmarks, just like it shows. And right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go pretty quick from now on. And... And if we need to move any points, we can just grab that point and move it over if we wanted to. And let's move this back over this way. Up. I just want to show you how we do this in case your staff makes a mistake. And we're going to go ahead and do the side view. And we're all done. Next, we're going to utilize a credit. If you don't want to use a credit, you would hit no. And basically, you're going to get this screen. So this is what you would get for free you could show your patients, but you won't be able to do any of these other uh, assessments. If you want that, you just hit use the credit. And as you can see, it just calculated all the displacements for the patient. And one of the most uh, important ones is this head weight. Her head weighs about seven and a half pounds approximate based on her height and body weight. It's three inches forward. So her effective weight of her head is about 23 pounds. Very important to show that to your, your patients. You can see that you can show this to your patient this way. Red lines for her, green is normal. All right, now here's the key. We're going to go ahead and email this to her. And it opens up a PDF. We're going to open this up. And there it is. It's gone. It's sent in there. So now you can, if you want to see that PDF, we can go ahead and open it up in the email client. Now, if we wanted to go out of this and see our screening history, we can come back in here. And if we wanted to edit any of those points, we can go back in and we can zoom in. And if we wanted to correct this, we could come in here, edit screening, front viewpoints, zoom in here, and let's drag this part down. There we go. And then now, we're ready to go, and it recalculated everything for you. So this is by far the fastest way to do a spinal screening today on a mobile device. If you want more information, go to postraco.com. Thank you.